Oh, hey everyone. So, I thought I would um, solo a cathedral run in WoW Classic. So, I've just actually done a run, and apparently this is quite a good way of um, making some money. Um, certainly from a bandage point of view, you get quite a few different bandages and things, which, um, you know, are quite profitable, basically, from all the silk you get. So, basically, if you come down here, on the right-hand side, you've got the door at the end here. Now, this does require the, the Scarlet Key, but sometimes people will let you in if you don't actually have the Scarlet Key. But, um, anyway, let's do the Cathedral run, right? Now, I'm a level 60 warrior, and I'm fairly geared up. So, I've just reset the instance, guys, right? Um, so, it's all fresh, right? If you want to reset the instance, go outside, right-click on your portrait here, and there'll be an option for reset instance, okay? Now, I want to get through this as um, kind of quickly as possible, um, with as few uh, kills as possible, so I can get to the end boss, because he generally drops a trinket, which is worth one gold or something. So, um, so anyway, um... Apparently you can get about, if you can do um, about a run in half an hour, you can get about 10 gold an hour, 20 gold, gold an hour, um, which is quite good. So at the moment I've kind of got most of my DPS gear on, so I've got my big, um, big old Obsidian Edge blade. Um, so yeah, when you get past the first bit, it's um, actually not too bad to get kind of near the boss. So... Uh, yeah, um, one of the things as a warrior um, you need to kill the boss is you need a fairly decent gun, I think. Um, that really helps. Because he kind of has... A, I think the boss here is um, called Harold, anyway. So yeah, like I say, I want to avoid as many mobs as possible here. You know, you probably pick up the occasional mob, but that's not really a problem. Actually, wasn't there the dog guy on the left here? Or am I thinking of the other place? Uh... No, I don't think there's the, the dog guy here anyway, but he drops a pretty cool whistle which summons um, some dogs to kind of come and help you. So anyway, the um, monastery runs fairly simple. I mean, I think for a rogue it'd be really simple. But um, yeah, it's not too bad for a warrior. As you can see, the biggest problem is getting close to mobs and they'll um, attack you like this. So um, if that happens, which it probably will, all I'm going to do is I'm going to basically beat everyone up and um, it's kind of worth, if you're a fury warrior, if you've got a slow, it's worth using a slow on these guys because they will run away and they're kind of annoying. Obviously, rule of thumb, it's worth taking out casters first because they do a bit more damage. Um, one of the um, things I've got is, and this actually drops from Molten Core and it's kind of considered um, a bit trashy is the um, Essence of Pure Flame, but actually it's so useful for so many different um, areas, so I'm really worth having it. So yeah, if this drops and nobody else wants it, you know, do help yourself because it's, uh, you know, really useful, especially in a place like this where um, anyone who strikes you is going to get 30, 13 fire damage, so it's um, similar to a druid's fawns, basically. Now these guys will attack me, I think. Yeah. So, um, just going to do my whirly wind. Like you can see, every time someone attacks me, I'm doing my uh, little bit of damage. It's also not bad if you um, use it as a tanking uh, trinket, because it kind of helps keep a little bit of aggro. But yeah, it is, it's not great, but like I said, a situation like this is perfect. Now these guys drop, um, that guy dropped four silver, um, that one dropped three. They drop between about three and nine silver each, so that's not too bad considering they're pretty easy to kill. And also don't forget for um, all the silk and stuff, you can sell it on the auction house, but um, you know, if you've got a few minutes for, for um, spare, it's probably worth just turning it into bandages. The other thing is, because I'm um, a warrior, I don't have a healer, I can actually use the uh, low-level heavy silk bandage to heal up, um, which that's kind of save, save some time. So anyway, that was pretty rubbish. <laughs> 
See if we can get to Harold without another pull. I think I might pull someone else, but yeah. who knows. <clears throat> okay, so I'm just um, dodging everyone. And that's it. Um, I've done the run, basically. So, um... Make sure you've got some bandages for Harold. Okay, they'll come in useful. And like I say, make sure you've got some ammunition for your gun. And let's go, um... Let's go kill him. I'll show you the tactic used to, um... To kill the guys. It's pretty simple, actually. So, I'm gonna just go and smack him up a bit. I'm gonna get my, um... Sunderamas on him. So, I'm gonna get about five Sunderamas on him. So when he does this, you just get back and you just shoot him. <laughs> it's like that Indiana Jones bit. Um, this is quite a low-level gun anyway, so I'm sort of still leveling, leveling it up. Well, but the gun's quite nice actually. It's just, um, I think about well, 200 um, anyway. So like I say, it's um, fairly easy with Harold. Um, so I'm going to run up here. And you can use one of your silk bandages if you want, just to heal yourself up. Like I say, nice uh, low-level bandage here. For some reason, he seems to take more damage later on. Every little bit helps, I guess. You can also jump down here if you want to. Um, he's got a bit of a sprint, but it doesn't really matter. It's fairly easy to take out, I guess. Not ready. Well, anyway, I'm going to heal myself up, I think. Nine seconds with a bandage. So, yeah, I'll show you guys. If you kind of run up here and um, you'll sort of do a crazy sprint, usually. <laughs> this pathing AI has just gone crazy, man. Now he's going to run. Yeah, so anyway, he's um, he's a character. So anyway, I'm going to use that nice bandage. I could use a better bandage and heal up more, but this is fine, I guess. Yeah, what do we get? Ooh, some nice... um. Scarlet Leggings Bind Rand pick up. Now, as you guys might notice, a bunch of um, pretty weak people will sort of run in. So. So, yeah, you can basically use your own AOE on here. Your um, Whirlwind. And just pretty much take them out. Don't forget, I've got that um, trinket which does um, sort of damage to anyone who attacks me, so it's quite good. But that's not necessary, so you can see you just take him out with a hit, so. These guys don't have much money, but they do drop some um, tilt cloth, which is quite nice. So, how long has that taken me? Well, I'll have a look on the. Have a look on the video, guys. It hasn't taken me long. And. Yeah, some Mage Weave Cloth there. Ooh! A Tabard! Dude, sweet! I can't carry anymore. Ah, oh, dude, nice! So, I hadn't seen this before, but um, I've got a Tabard of the... Oh wow, look, like it's got like a like maple leaf or whatever. Or ember. Big ember flame thing on. That's pretty cool actually. I quite like that. Sweet, well you can get that nice tabard anyway. I can't carry any more of those. Like I say, just um a lot of sort of trash and whatnot. There's some dude down there now. What's he doing? He bugged. What are you mate? <laughs> He's bugged. Well, he's not bugged anymore. <laughs> okay. Oh, 
there's someone else. What are you doing? So I actually wonder if you just ignored these guys, whether they would just run away. And completely ignore you. Um, like I say, you do get loaded up with junk pretty quick, so... Um, Anyway, that's um, a cathedral run. Oh, look, some. That's pretty nice. So, according to my thing, it will sell for about one gold thirty. Um, level twenty-five. So that's actually a pretty decent sort of, kind of quite twinky axe. Actually, it's quite nice. Hmm. Really should have gone and sold my stuff, but. Oh, that's not bad too. Just um, gonna go for about one gold something. Oh, I had to delete items, but sorry, mana potion. Well, that's better than the first one, anyway, guys. So, got about two or three golds worth of loot there, um, which isn't bad, I guess, considering what an easy run this is. I can't carry any more. And ah, oh, that tabard is pretty cool looking. I like that. I might just keep it. <laughs> so then you just run out, guys. Um, same when you came in. Oops. I guess you pulled some people. <laughs> okay, it's entirely optional. Yeah, there's nothing really here that an experienced, you know. To be honest, I think most classes would probably do this fairly easily. Um, I mean, you know, it'd be nice if you had a healing class. I mean, I'm sure, yeah, pretty much everyone could do it. I mean, a rogue could just sneak the boss if he wanted to, or she wanted to. But, um... Would be nice if there was a vendor around here. Um, I mean, I certainly know there's um, a vendor over at Brill and stuff. Um, that'd be my crusader proccing. Gosh, these guys are taking a while to... No, I think in the game, right, where people have got shields, they're just, um, you know, they've got so much more health. Okay, um, a bit of advice then, guys, is if you're going to do this, then it might actually be worth um, putting a lot of your armour and stuff like that in the bank, so you've got more bank space. Well, you've got more space in your inventory, because, look, 17 silver there, that's not bad. <sighs> Delete my smelly cheese, I know it's worth. Goodbye, cheese. What's that do? Anyway, guys, you can imagine how you run out. You just basically run out. So, yeah, that's um, how you tank. Um, well, that's kind of how you do the um, cathedral run. And, you know, it seems fairly profitable. So, go away and have some, have some fun doing that then, guys. <laughs> okay, bye.